everyone, this is Real Estate Coach Craig Proctor. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to be talking about how to get listings in this volatile market. Um, a great opportunity uh, is expired listings. We're going to talk about that today. And we're going to talk about who is actually going to be selling their house in this market and how do we specifically target uh, sellers that are super motivated. I mean, they're going to price their property right. And what are the best strategies to make this happen? What's the least expensive, most effective ways uh, to get listings? Um, we know the deal, right? You have to list to last. Uh, and I made my mark in real estate. Uh, many of you know my story. Within 36 months of getting my real estate license, I was named the number one REMAX agent in the world. And that was during a down market. Okay, so when I started in real estate, it was very similar market. Uh, we just come through, um, you know, a, a, an up market for several years and interest rates had uh, rapidly risen and prices were coming down. So I can totally relate uh, to this marketplace and I can give you some pretty good advice on how to succeed. Um, so with expired uh, listings, um, I mean, you could do that for free. You can call them, you can uh, show up at their house, uh, you can do inexpensive mailings. And I understand in some marketplaces, uh, like in Canada, for example, you're not supposed to be um, chasing down expired listings, but there is a way to do it. Uh, several of our top agents just mail the entire area anyway. Um, we can use inexpensive tools like Facebook Marketplace uh, where we can run uh, ads specifically designed to target expired uh, listings. Uh, homes have just come off the market. Um, I think uh, the headline in the ad is um, how to sell a home that didn't sell and we give uh, people information and, and really what it comes down to is uh, you were overpriced or you had the wrong realtor or maybe both. Uh, but I would definitely be going after expired listings in this, in this marketplace. Uh, of course, I have to mention the guaranteed sale program because um, if you understand how this works, you can make a lot of money with it. Uh, basically what we're doing is we're guaranteeing the sale of the seller's house um, and there are conditions to this uh, but it is a good guarantee but if you know what you're doing you'll attract a lot of um, business and you'll sell the property before you have to buy it because the way it works is we market the property for 120 days if we get a superior offer uh, an offer better than what we offered the seller in writing up front the seller always gets the benefit of the higher offer whether it's our upfront uh, guarantee or it's a superior offer uh, from an outside buyer. Um, so of course, if you, when you call an ex, um, a listing that's expired off the market and you say, um, hey, um, you know, we don't just list your home, we'll give you an upfront guarantee, we'll actually guarantee that we'll buy it, you get their attention, right? Like that's a massive uh, showstopper. I know some of you are maybe uh, kind of freaked out by this guaranteed sale program and you think you, you can't do this. Uh, understand when I started in real estate, I had no sales experience, um, I had no money, I had no confidence. Uh, so I totally get uh, that you might be reluctant or you might even think it's a bait and switch or whatever, but this is a real program that helped thousands of, of home sellers in my marketplace because if you own a house and you wanna buy another house, how do you do this, right? Um, a lot of um, sellers don't wanna take an offer conditional on the sale of a house, right? Uh, if you go in, with a cash offer and you haven't whole, sold your existing home, you could risk getting stuck with two homes. And because there's not a lot of houses on the market, um, if you sell your existing home first and then you don't find a home that you like, uh, then you have no house. So the guaranteed sale program really solves this real estate catch 22. Uh, we know uh, that these types of guarantees are very popular because we have all these iBuyer companies uh, out there um, conveniences and in a, in a, in a, in a, the confidence to know that the house is sold is very very important to the seller today. Um, also, we have to understand that every uh, seller, because we want listings, right? But every seller is a buyer before they're a seller. What I mean by that is it's pretty unlikely that a homeowner is just going to list their house without knowing where they're going to go to. Right, so the first thing they start thinking about is where would my next move be? So they're looking around, they're in search of information, in search of properties. So you want to attract 
the seller to get the listing, you need to attract that seller as a buyer first because they're shoppers first. Now, how do we do this? Well, certainly by not, we can't be offering the same stuff that all the other agents are offering. And we can't say to buyers, uh, hey, we will get you access to the information on homes on MLS because all the buyers today know they don't need us for that. They can get that information on their own. So what I'd like you to try is offering things that are exclusive. Okay, so the buyer's like, well, you know what? I don't know how to get that on my own. And I want you to offer something that's not being offered by other real estate agents. So that's a bit of a writer downer. Your offer should be something, obviously, the buyers and sellers really want, but it needs to be something that they can't get on their own, right? They can't go online and Google it and find it on the internet. And it has to be something that's not being offered by other real estate agents. And that gives you a huge edge. Remember my story. I was a nobody. I got into real estate. Nobody thought I'd really succeed. But within three years, okay, number one REMAX agent in the world. And I kept being one of the top REMAX agents in the world. Uh, now, eventually, I grew a team. Uh, but I know a lot of you right now just want to get started. You, you know, you're finding this market challenging. So um, take my advice on this. Expired listings are a great way to get started, okay? Um, I showed up, I priced the properties right, and, you know, ironically, I think I actually did better in a down market. I think that's where I, I really sunk my teeth into in my real estate career. I, I really did well because I worked hard, I, I targeted expired listings, I priced them right, and then I was known as the agent that gets the job done. So homeowners in my area, they would see all these different signs go up for three months or six months, and then my for sale sign would go up, and within a week or so, boom, sold. And I got this reputation in a slower market is, hey, if you want to get your home sold, if you want to get the job done, call Craig Proctor. You know, don't, don't fool around with these other agents. So let's get back to what you could offer. A big offer for, for you that fits into this description of what can I offer that buyers really want that they can't get on their own and it's not being offered by their agents, unlisted and off-market properties. Now, I know you're immediately thinking, well, we're not allowed to do that. That would be a pocket listing. But hear me out on this. Let me explain how this works. Could you say to one of your clients that owns a house, right? The client owns the house, but your client is reluctant to list their home with you until you can find them another property. Uh, but if, imagine if you could say uh, to that prospect, hey, I can get you access uh, not only to the public, publicly available homes on MLS, which are on the internet, but Mr. and Mrs. Home Buyer can also get you access to unlisted and off-market properties. And of course they would say, well, send me the list, send me the pictures, send me the details of the unlisted or off-market properties. And you can say, well, there is no list actually. How this works, uh, we, you tell us what you're looking for. You tell us the neighborhood you're looking in. And then we go into that neighborhood and what we're targeting are homeowners that want to sell, but who have not yet listed their home for sale. Totally legal, right? We're not talking about a listing. In fact, we're not even gonna list the house. We're just gonna bring our buyer over to this homeowner who hasn't yet listed their home for sale and we're going to double end it. It would be exactly like this. If you were working with a client, a buyer, and you sold them a for sale by owner, the FISBO would pay you, but you're not representing the FISBO because you're, it's just a commission agreement. You're representing your buyer. Well, that's what we're doing. We're helping these buyers who can't find the right house because they feel like everything on the internet is you know, picked over, overpriced, right? That's how they feel. You're saying, I'll send you all that, but, you know, however, I can also get you access to unlisted, off-market, distress sale. Oh, new construction is another good one as well, because you could go around to all the builders, get all the plans, and you would have access to all the new construction homes. Um, that's not something that's easily uh, available online, right? You have uh, collected all the information and so you offer an information package on brand new homes from the top five builders in town. So there's ways for us to be creative with this and that's all I did. Like it doesn't make sense that 
I go from not knowing anything about real estate, never selling anything in my life, to the top Remax agent in the entire world. And I did that for 15 years in a row. What I realized is this all comes down to marketing. And I get it, like when we, we're taking our real estate course, um, we're not thinking much, or at least I wasn't thinking much about how to get the clients. I'm thinking, you know, I'll pass all the, the tests, the exams, I'll get my license, and I've got my license, and if I work hard, and I'm honest, and I'm a good negotiator, that should be enough, right? But it's not. Some of you might have agents in your marketplace who are doing better than you, right? And it's frustrating, because you're looking at these realtors that are doing better than you, and maybe they haven't even been in business as long as you, and you're thinking to yourself, you know what, I'm a better realtor. I'm better than he is or she is. I really believe I'm, I'm a better agent, I'm more skilled, I'm more experienced, but this other person who's maybe fairly new in the business is kicking your butt. We have to understand that we're marketers first. Here's all I did. All I was able to do uh, in, in a short period of time was get people that wanted to buy and sell to raise their hands and come to me. If I can teach you how to do that, if I could teach you inexpensive, easy techniques to get real buyers and sellers to raise their hands and call you, and the calling you, by the way, is really important because, as we know, people don't answer the phone. Right? It's very difficult if you're buying Zillow leads or whatever, you know what we're talking about. Buyers and sellers aren't answering the phone. So the secret is we got to offer something so big that they'll call us. Right? If we call them and they want to answer the phone, we got to reverse this. So we call this my automatic reverse prospecting system. Offer something they really want, something that's unique, something they can't go online or Google to find out, something that's not being offered by your competitors, and now what happens is you're selling in a vacuum. So when I started to do these things, it's like my business changed overnight. Uh, now I did notice some of the other realtors were not as friendly, right? When I started, um, everybody expected me to fail, everyone was very nice to me, but as I started to become more and more successful, I know it irritated um, some of the realtors, so you will find out who your, who your true friends are in real estate. But real estate's difficult when you do this alone, right? Because at our office, all the agents are our competitors. I mean, I'm sure your broker owner wants the best for you, but a lot of broker owners, you know, let's be honest, if they were really good salespeople, they would be outselling because you can make way more money as a top uh, salesperson versus being a broker owner or a manager. And this is what I bring to the table. I've been doing this for 30 years and what I realized, hear me out on this, is my success really had nothing to do with Craig Proctor the person. It had everything to do with this systematic method that I figured out as to how to get buyers and sellers to contact me. So when I became the top agent for Remax, all these other Remax agents, mostly Remax, some from other companies, started asking me, well, how do you do this? What are you doing? What are your secrets? And when I would share my system with other real estate agents, here was the cool thing. They started to get the same results that I was getting. Some of them were starting to do better than me. And that's when I had this epiphany that my success had nothing to do with Craig the person, had everything to do with the system that I share. So that's how I got into coaching. Now, for 15 years, I was selling five, 600 homes a year, and I was running around the country doing conferences and doing coaching, and I did that for a long, long time, and now I focus just on coaching. I'm coaching more millionaire real estate agents right now than any other coach or trainer or guru out there, and they love the fact that I was in the trenches for 30 years doing this. You know, when I talk and I tell my stories and I'm going through um, the approaches here, they can tell, okay, here's somebody that knows how to win at the game because they played the game. Now, how many of you have found this helpful? Okay, and I don't want this to be a pep talk. I want to really, really help you. So what I've opened up, if you can get some spots, there's a free um, call that you can book with my team and I. If someone could type into the comments below, proctormeeting.com. We would do it over Zoom. It's proctormeeting.com, no space, it's just proctor, my name, proctormeeting.com. Someone can type that in. That's gonna be a clickable link. And this is zero dollars, this is my free offer to you 
to help you out. It's not a big sales pitch or anything like that. I'm good. I don't need your money. I've sold over 10,000 homes. I've been coaching realtors for a long time. I enjoy doing this. I love the challenge of hearing what you're doing and hearing what you want to do and then figuring out the best strategy for you. Okay, so it's a free call. When you go to proctormeeting.com, you'll go to my QD day timer and then you can just book a day and a time that works for you. But don't be surprised if you go there and there are no spots. That might be the case right now. But just watch and more will open up. Uh, but they're usually pretty full. But this is very, very important that you have somebody to explain it and, and help you because it is a lonely business. It's very difficult to do this on your own. And some of you might have someone helping you. Maybe you don't. Maybe you are just you know trying to figure it out. But whatever you're doing right now, in a way, you did copy it from somebody, right? Like whether you're door knocking or cold calling or um, working your sphere of influence, uh, you kind of figured it out from somebody. Maybe there's a better way to do what you're doing. Let's say that an agent's doing 25 transactions a year. What's typical is every year they kind of do around 25. Maybe, you know, one year they do 30, but then they're back to 25. So whatever your production level is at, it's quite common that we get stuck at a certain production level. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want to be stuck, right? So whether you're stuck in 30 homes or 50 homes, you want to learn how to get unstuck. So you have a business routine, right? There's certain things that you do every day and the things that you're doing make sense to you, right? That's why you're doing them. You're not doing things that don't make sense. So you get up every day and you do these things and the things that you do, this routine, causes the results that you're getting. And you, you come to me and you say, well, I don't like these results. I want to get better results. You know, I don't want to sell 25 homes a year. I want to sell 50 homes a year. So just as a heads up, my first question to you would be, well, why are you not already doing 50 transactions? You know, you said you're doing 25. Your goal is 50. How come you're not already doing 50? Well, you would proceed to tell me all the reasons why you can't do 50. You know, you talk about the competition and the market and your budget and all the things that we normally would think of, right? What I want to do is share with you different approaches, a totally different way of thinking about your business because let's face it it all begins with the mind right um, we have to actually believe we can do 50 transactions or 100 transactions before we start to get the right things in place so I want to give you a belief system that your goals are real and we might have to change your approach to help you get there okay so now you can do it on your own um, you could choose a different coach than Craig Proctor. There's gazillions of coaches out there. Unfortunately, there are gazillions of coaches out there. Some, as you know, have never sold real estate. I know you, you might be surprised by that, but some have never had a real estate license, never sold, uh, and some are sort of failed, and some I'm sure are good. Uh, but my track record is twofold. Number one, as the top Remax agent in the world for many, many years, over 10,000 homes. But I'm really proud of my dual track record because all the time that I was being a top agent, I was also perfecting and coaching and, and teaching agents the same system that me made me successful. Now, everything you wanna do in real estate is already been done by me and the thousands of students I have all over North America. So that's the other benefit. I want to invite all of you to be part of my private Facebook group. How many of you would like that? Raise your hand. Okay, if you, and by the way, if you haven't liked this page, if you're finding this extremely helpful, if you haven't liked this page, uh, smash the like button now. Okay, uh, hit the blue thumbs up. Okay, or maybe give me a little heart. Uh, and follow this page because whenever I go live, they're good sessions like this. I'm sharing with you um, what I did and what the top agents are doing, and hopefully you get some instruction out of this. But I want to, um, yeah, so like this page, and then if you want to be part of my private Facebook group where I've got 8,000 realtors that openly share 
uh, what they're doing and how they're using the Craig Proctor system serves me, right, to introduce you to agents that are very successful doing what I'm doing. But it costs you zero dollars. So if you'd like to be part of my private Facebook group, just type into the comments below, private group. Okay, do that now, private group. And uh, someone on my team will reach out to you and we'll get you a link so you can go into the private group and we'll accept you and uh, you can start to learn. Now, again, if you want to book a free breakthrough call, we call it a breakthrough call, with me and my team, you're going to uh, go to proctormeeting.com. If you can type that into the comments, it's a clickable link, no space, proctormeeting.com. Look, I hope you found this beneficial today. Um, let me know, though. Uh, let me know your thoughts if you found this helpful. Remember, you can share this with other realtors you know that you think might benefit from this as well. Maybe even show, share this with your broker. Your broker wants to help the other agents in the office. So um, let's get out there and get our expired listing program going, okay? Let's start to offer unlisted and off-market properties, distress sale properties. These are all very easy things to do. And don't use the excuse of, I have no money. I didn't have any money. Start with the free things. Like the words that come out of your mouth don't cost you anything, right? Just learn better words. Okay, when you're, if you're calling expireds, if you're at their door, learn better language, right? Uh, you can run ads for zero dollars on Facebook Marketplace. So we show you the right language, uh, the right ads, the right offers. So you've got to have a great offer. If you're talking the same talk as all the other agents, Maybe that's not why you're not doing as well as you're hoping to, to do. So get coached up on this. Book your call now, and hopefully we'll see you on the other side. Thank you so much for watching this again. Please leave us your comments, and we'll see you next time. This is Real Estate Coach Craig Proctor. You guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. Hi, this is Craig Proctor. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed that video. And listen, I've got a lot more information for you to help you grow your real estate business. You see, several times a week, I record new videos and I load them onto this YouTube channel. What I'd like you to do if you'd like to access them are two important things, and both are totally free. Number one is I'd like you to subscribe to this channel. You're gonna see a little subscribe button for you to click on. And if you don't already have an account with YouTube, it's free for you to set it up. It's really easy, it's free, but you've got to subscribe to this channel. And the most important thing is to ring the little bell right next to the subscribe button. And that's gonna let you know every time I load new money-making videos to help you grow your real estate business. So make sure you subscribe right now, you ring the little bell, and we'll see you on the next video.